what what's going to be an even better experience is playing Spider-Man on them. Uh, Caboose, do you want to talk more about the Spider-Man gameplay that we saw? I sure do, Camille. I sure <laughs> do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I think I do. I don't this know. This was maybe. one of the first <laughs> things. <laughs> uh, this was one of the first things they showed during the showcase was some new gameplay, like an official gameplay demo from Spider-Man Miles Morales and um there's another game. It looks just, it looks super solid, very different from Spider-Man PS4. I noticed some similarities in animation. It's it's definitely the same engine. Um, and, and it's not like top to bottom a brand new game. There are a couple of things that they're borrowing clearly from Spider-Man PS4, but I'm really surprised on the two-year turnaround how yes. much is new in this yes. game. Yes. And how uh, and, and how much of a standalone game it seems to be. And that's probably a testament to how big of a studio Insomniac Games is. I mean, just look at it. They're coming out with Ratchet & Clank and Spider-Man this year. So clearly they've been going to work on this stuff. Uh, and it just looks super solid. Uh, the representation is amazing. Oh, doing can we talk about that music, though? Like, oh, yes! The music <laughs> was oh, my on gosh. Point. And so it's good. Sony. Good. They, so they good. have to have the rights to so many big-name New York rappers. I would be very, very shocked if this soundtrack for this standalone title wasn't just um, absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey. and... Yeah, go ahead. You you have to nail that. I mean, especially when when that's like one of the best things about Into the Spider Verse. I, that's that, I, that exactly what I was gonna to say. The Into the, the Spider Verse game. was so good. Their the soundtrack was so good. I was singing all those songs, like trying to rap them um, as what best of my game? ability. <laughs> Can we see? It um, no, no, that's too far. <laughs> me time, me time. <laughs> um, but. You could also see in this gameplay the influence of Into the Spider-Verse, like just how the yeah. buildings work, how you see New York. Yeah. Although I, it would have been cool to have that full animation in here, I do love how they're able to kind of borrow the anime, well, be influenced by Into the Spider-Verse um, in this game. And that was one of my yeah. favorite things. Also, the reveal of Tinkerer um, being a female. I have my theories. I have my theories. Oh, 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 okay. Let's go into some theories right now. Let's. What's your theory? I want to hear this. That's let's, that's let's Yuri. That's got to be Yuri from Spider Man <gasps> PS4. You think? you think so? Yeah. So in the comics, Yuri and and Alex, I know you have no clue what I'm talking. About. I'm looking through the trailer. I'm like, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> in the first in the first game, there was this character Yuri Watanabe. She is like a police detective that Spider Man kind of works with, and then through the DLC she starts to like she just gets pissed off at like the level of corruption in the nypd yeah. and she's like screw it i'm going vigilante mode i'm taking this into my own hands um and in the comics she's known as a villain called wraith uh so it is a bit of a departure but it just it all adds up there's there's no reason to mask up and try to hide the identity of someone like the tinkerer unless it's meant to be a big reveal and to feel like the obviously the fact that the character is a female and they're they're gender bending it and you know the leather jacket and kind of even the sound of the voice led me to believe that it's going to be Yuri and I think that's going to be one of the big reveals of two because there's no way they're not putting Prowler <laughs> in this game. Prowler um, has to be in this game. Yeah, and it has yeah. to have the same origin of Miles' uncle. You know, all sure. that needs to For be sure. the same. It's such an they integral part. Yeah, into his story but you do bring up an interesting point about that being yuri that would be insane and it does make sense like i never thought about the fact they never revealed the face of the person um do we know like i haven't gone back to hear yuri talk i wonder if it's the same voice actress they haven't announced I tried anything, looking it up but you can't find it yeah mm, but i'm pretty me. sure <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Alex, Yuri. Is this, is this an exclusive? This is why I have a PS5. Oh, oh that makes that sense. so much sense now. I was yeah. wondering this whole time, and I was like, "How did she get that PlayStation yeah. 5? You thought You're I had no clue what I was talking about, but really, uh, I knew so aside, a lot more. Aside from <laughs> the gameplay looking super solid, the story looking very intriguing, a couple of other key pieces of information dropped after the PlayStation Showcase especially for Spider-Man Miles Morales. Number one, this is a huge one. And and Camille, we were talking about this before the show, which this is a weird one that they didn't 
communicate until now for some reason, but it's coming to PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. It's not a PS5 yes. exclusive. Oh, wow. uh, so yeah, you can get it on PS4, which is... And you, you said you were shocked by that, like that, or the lack of communication for that. Yeah, because I feel like this should have been announced from the reveal back in June. I don't know why this would have been something that was held back from mm -hmm. then, you know? Yeah. It just... If it doesn't feel necessarily deceptive because the information came out before pre-orders went out. Yes. Um, but it's just it's just weird that it wasn't communicated. Like like were they teetering on whether or not they wanted to release it on PS4? I don't think so. So I'm not really sure. But the other huge piece of news, which which is very exciting, which should be a huge incentive to get this on PS5, is there's an ultimate edition of Spider-Man yes. Miles Morales coming out. Oh. That includes a remaster of Spider-Man PS4 Ooh. for the PlayStation 5. And with it, you're going to get three new suits in Spider-Man PS4. Uh, it's built from the ground up, utilizing ray tracing, uh, having a 60 FPS mode, uh, and completely like remodeling characters and stuff to, to work with the power of the new consoles. Of course, you're going to have the instant loading with the SSDs. So it's... Like it's it's a remaster in if you remember the way that they did The Last of Us from PS3 to PS4, where yes. they just they upped everything, you know, they took everything and they doubled it in terms of quality. Uh, and so I'm really hyped about that. And I'm also just excited to see what the three new suits are gonna be. Alternate <laughs> That's my jam. You're like the collector uh, of suits, Spider-Man suits. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it's, it's awesome too. Spider-Man PS4, when all was said and done, without the DLC had like 35 alternate suits that were just free to unlock. You didn't have to pay an wow. extra dime for them. If you could make your own suit. That would be pretty cool. You'd need Marvel's like approval on a lot of stuff though. Oh. You need to make sure that like a lot of the things that you can create It'll there, just be slightly off, right? Yeah. Slightly <laughs> off from the official. Instead of a spider, it's a spider with squiggly legs, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, but yeah I feel I'm hyped. Yeah, I feel like there's so much um, content with Miles Morales that we're seeing um, come out from this game that it really does feel like it's a full Spider-Man game. And yeah. it's crazy to think it is not. It is crazy to think that this is not yeah. Spider-Man PS4 2. It's an in-between game that they're releasing as yeah. like, I'm pretty sure a deal that they have with PlayStation being a launch title and all. Um, but I also thought about the, uh, and I was telling you earlier about the uh, news that this is coming out for PlayStation 4 as well. I just automatically assumed when you look at consoles releasing in previous years a lot of those launch titles we also see them bridge that gap with their previous gen so i just assume a lot of these launch titles that we're seeing we may see other additions or like at a later date it coming out to previous gen um mm -hmm. so it wasn't too shocking for me do I think that affects their pre-orders? Not really. I think with the showcase, no. PlayStation really showed a lot of um, content coming to their next gen. Not mm -hmm. all of it exclusive, of course, but mm -hmm. a lot of things to get excited about. And um, yeah, I think one of those things is definitely the price point too, which we'll be talking about after the break. Mm -hmm. 